My friends, today we're going to talk about how to use Decibel's histogram to optimize the dynamics of your song. The Decibel histogram can show you three interesting and crucial things. Number one, the dynamics of your song across time using our TrueDyne measurement. You can think of TrueDyne as the equivalent of peak over average, but in the LUFS world. This is how compressed your music is. The histogram will also show you if you're clipping in certain areas of your song. There's little red squares just for that on top because red is stop. If you are using Decibel in your DAW as a plugin instead of a standalone, it's a very good idea to set the LUFS recording to timecode mode. This is a great way for your histogram to be always up to date and permanently synced to your DAW. That means that it will update its data as you work all day while you work on your song. So you don't have to run your song at the end to figure out how loud it is. Decibel knows at all times how loud it is and you can just update it, I'll show you. I played the whole track before I started talking. So what I see here in Decibel is the actual histogram of the whole song. If I click here, Feel alive, I got you can see that Decibel's timeline jumps to the right spot. If I click here, Decibel's timeline jumps to the right spot. Now, what I have here is the integrated LUFS of the whole song, the integrated TrueDyne dynamic range of the whole song. If I change something in my file, for example, if I lower this part of the last chorus by a lot, and I play it again, As you can see, I played the part that I lowered. Decibel wrote that down and automatically updated the integrated LUFS number. So I don't have to run the whole track again just because I changed this little part in the song. That's a huge, huge time saver. Another very important thing that the histogram shows you is the TrueDyne layer, this layer up here. This is the dynamic range of your song. It tells you how compressed your music is. As you can see here, music gets more compressed on the choruses less of a range. And most decibel templates will have red show up when you're starting to get dangerously near over compression. So if we look at this track, you see the different sections. A quiet intro, a slightly louder verse, a way louder chorus, and then the second verse, which is pretty much exactly the same level as the first verse, and then the second chorus, which is the same loudness as the first chorus. Now you can see how the different sections contribute to different dynamic range. There's a lot of dynamics here on the intro because there's no drums and there's nothing hitting, there's no compression going on, and then a lot less here. And you can see the red, which indicates that we're nearing the minus eight, minus seven in this template. That tells you, oh, this is getting really compressed because as it's getting louder, it's hitting the limiter louder and thus has less dynamic range. This is not just for music. If you're mixing interviews, tutorials like this one, the histogram is a really great way to align the loudness of all voice throughout an hour and a half. You don't have to go and, you know, nitpick. You could just run the histogram and you will know, you will see where your vocal is not aligning right. And that's very practical and a huge, huge time saver. The decibel histogram can also prove very educational when analyzing streaming platform songs. It can show you how compressed or not compressed the music is, so you can learn from it. If you run some tunes from Spotify through the histogram, you can see that everything is hovering around minus 14 dB LUFS. Why? Because that's the standard. That's what the Spotify robot does automatically. It takes the music, puts it at minus 14. But then, using the histogram, you can see how compressed it is. So you'll see it's at minus 14, and then you'll see maybe the verse has 10 dBs of dynamic, and then maybe the chorus will have like, down to like sometimes 5 dBs of dynamic. It's really interesting to see that. So you see, okay, it sounds this way. Why is that? You can actually gauge just how compressed everything is just looking at the histogram. And to do so, all you have to do is run the Decibel Daemon and you're able to look at Spotify, Tidal, uh, YouTube, anything you want, anything core audio, and you'll be able to run it through Decibel and learn this way. It's very, very nice.